Welcome back. It is 946. The pop up at 200 North Michigan, 200 North Chicago. Let's not give you the wrong place here. They're hosting an exhibit and this documents the 2020 Black Lives Matter movement. And this is a very thought provoking, harsh reality display with the purpose of inciting discussion and understanding and joining us to talk more about the exhibit is Isaiah Vanay. Hey, thank you so much to talk about this important exhibit. Yeah, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me and Rena. Yeah. Well, okay. Tell us about, um, so the people behind this exhibit, what, what is the mission here? Yeah. Yeah. So um, basically uh, myself and Rena, we came up with an idea um, very kind of early in uh, 2020 about uh, documenting what's been going on um, with protests, uh, not just in Chicago, but just around the entire country. Um, myself being arrested earlier uh, in May of last year. Um, I'm also a photographer and that's my job. And so, yeah, me and Rena just came together and was like, yeah, let's create something that kind of showcases not just what's been going on um, in this country, but just like in general, because I believe not only did COVID affect everyone, but um, these protests affected everyone. Yeah, so, so what, what can people expect to see when they uh, see the exhibit? Uh, talk to us about some of the images and uh, what, what yeah. you know, th that are there. Yeah, so uh, some of the things people can expect to see from the gallery just in general is just very powerful, provoking imagery. Um, just like this one um, down here uh, was shot by the kid from Pilsen. Um, and the piece is from the Columbus protest that took place recently this summer. Um, and it really shows, if you really look deep at the photo, kind of what organizers um, deal with on a daily basis and what black and brown people deal with on a daily basis from police. And if you just go from each photo, it kind of shows what police, how police have been treating black and brown folks, not even just in the year 2020 alone, but just in general. And that's basically what this uh, gallery is for is in just another way showing just how much black and brown folks have been like rising to the occasion to protect themselves and have their voices heard. Yeah, are there any plans to? I'm really great about this photo right here um, by Vanessa Charlotte, yeah. who's from St. Louis. And right here, it's like, you know, the historic Washington, D.C. monument. And then we got a black trans lives matter flag or shirt with the flag. And uh, it's just like a different time. And it really shows that we're moving forward and voices are really getting heard. And so we're excited to have this one and then all the photos. But like each photo has a very. Yeah, each meaning. photo is a completely different story. But yeah, it, it's yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, if people want more information, uh, where can they go? Yeah. So for more information, um, just go to our fightforpeace.com. Um, it's literally up there. And also, if you come to the pop up, you can literally go to the photo, scan it, and like it'll give you information on each uh, specific photographer. So, for example, my piece, um, if you just scan it, it, my name will come up. Uh, it'll give you more information on how to buy the piece. And also, if anyone buys like a print of like what we have on the gallery, the proceeds go directly to uh, Black Village Foundation. Um, they've been doing a lot of work in the community, just like Good Kids, Mad City, and Black Rising in uh, her Chicago. So, yeah. <laughs> that sounds great. Hey, great job out there. We appreciate uh, you putting out that information. And uh, it's ourfighttopeace.com. Don't go away. We'll be right back.